Welcome to the Truckee River Murder House. Welcome to the Truckee River Not so Murder House. So we are at the Truckee River Murder House, or what is called the Truckee River Murder House. But this is only by name from some YouTubers a few years ago that started popping up on YouTube and then we started seeing a lot of posts and videos about this location. I have researched, my friends have researched, we pulled up records. We can't find anything on this address about any murders that's happened here at all. So even going through historians and such, we can't seem to locate any stories about a family of five being murdered in this house. Now what I was able to locate is multiple, multiple news articles about a family of five in 1991 uh, murder-suicide happened right outside of Wadsworth which we're probably over 20 miles away from Wadsworth right now. Uh, they were found just alongside a dirt road southwest of Wadsworth uh, couple miles or so. Now the family of five, they were traveling in their 1970s green pickup. There's a Ford pickup with a camper shell. Uh, all their worldly possessions was in this camper. Uh, previously they left Michigan, Pontiac, Michigan, where they lost their house and decided to head west for work in Oregon. Now there is records that he did indeed show up in Oregon to work. Uh, that work didn't last very long. It was pretty much pay every day type of job. And somehow he stumbles upon Wadsworth uh, just outside of Reno. The job in Oregon didn't work out. So somehow they traveled south um, down through Pyramid Lake and ended up in Wadsworth, Nevada. Uh, their bodies were found approximately four to five hours after their death. Um, the husband and wife were found in the behind their vehicle with gunshot wounds to their head and the three children were found in the cab uh, also with gunshot wounds to the head. Uh, left alive was uh, two cats that they had in the cab of the truck that they were traveling with. So we know from their family um, in the newspaper articles they were saying that they were having financial troubles and had previously attempted suicide. 
Um, my guess after the Oregon job didn't work out, uh, he took whatever paycheck that he got and they headed south and ended up in Watchworth. Now what they call the Truckee River Murder House, I don't think was a residential house at all. Um, just kind of looking at the layout, as you walk in, you have this shelving here on the left. What I'm guessing was a hot belly, uh, pot belly stove to keep you warm. On the right, a bathroom. Uh, doesn't look like there was a shower. Just look like enough room for a toilet. And you have this back room here. Uh, what really stands out is this communication tower. I'm guessing maybe 70 feet in the air. Looks like it was a shortwave radio communication, maybe CB radio type of communication tower. I don't think a family of five would have something like that. This is not a big property. I said you don't have shower hookups. Um, don't look like you have plumbing for a kitchen unless it came through this wall over here. So maybe this uh, building was used for something else. Okay, it looks like it had a basement or storm cellar, whatever you want to call it. We'll go down. Now normally I wouldn't come down into areas like this. You can see uh, they have plumbing to the toilet right there. That might have been uh, a drain for a sink or a urinal or something to that nature. Not a lot of space. Kids come here partying. Nothing really creepy down here except for the tumbleweeds. But I don't see shelving or anything that a family might use to uh, store their personal possessions. There's another basement spot here in the back. Under the back of the building. We're going to check it out. All right, let's see if we can get in here. Pretty treacherous. Ah. Just try not to die. And we got more tumbleweeds. Doesn't appear to be. Uh, it looks like maybe shelving over there. I don't see any plumbing under this part of the structure. Now the kids that were found in the front of the truck, uh, there was 10 year old Derek, the oldest, uh, Linda was eight, and Stormy was just two years old. And that, kind of hurts you know especially since uh, my late sister-in-law was also named Stormy I always thought it was a pretty unique name but uh yeah that's a real tragedy what happened to them it just didn't happen here now back behind the structure there's this uh, what might have been a cellar obviously there's a ladder it's all filled in now. Um, I see power. So they had must have had lights. Um, there is a light structure right there. They could have had lights below that. So they definitely had power. I do not know how old this property is, but they did use PVC for. Um, 
the conduit, obviously, for the electrical stuff. And they have this big communication tower. Where we sit right now, we are just outside of Reno, about seven miles. And this, where we're at, is where the Donner Party would have traveled right through here along the Truckee River to my left. Um, they would have followed that right into Reno where they set camp for about a week before their treacherous trek up the Sierra Mountains. So maybe this building served as some kind of way station, a stopping point for people traveling through. Um, like I said, without records on the building, we don't know how old it is. Yeah, we have a drone flying above us. I was out flying mine earlier. But yeah. Um, is this place haunted? Maybe. Um, it's just, you're kind of out in the open here. There will be people that walk by to go fishing. A hiking trail. The hiking trail just beyond the other side of the river right there, which is right there. So, in the story of the five that were found dead right outside of Wadsworth, they were found outside of the Truckee Canal, which is not the Truckee River. The Truckee Canal is man-made and it's northeast of us quite a ways by many miles. And runs along Wadsworth uh, almost into Fernley. So. The one thing we need to learn don't always trust what you see on the internet. This is one of those locations that's gotten visited by many because of its appearance on YouTube. And when I saw it, I had to dig in to uh, find the story myself. There is a family of five tragedy. It just didn't happen here. So Lisa, do you think any murders happened here? Absolutely not. No? So it's just a building? Just a building, no murders happen here. Aww. You seem to have attracted a couple people with their uh, drones flying out here. Buzzing around everywhere. And they're pretty good at it. In and out of these buildings and tight spaces with those things. So they're braver than I am with my drone. Found us some, uh, oh, urinating horses. Yeah. You really had to go. A lot. Woo! Hi, baby! Feel better? <laughs> you got a horse that wants your attention. Hi. Hi. Aww. Hi, beautiful. I don't have any food. No! No! Get! Get out of my car. <laughs> You gonna let me pet you? Come here. Come on, loves. There you go, see? Aww. Just some lovins. Just some lovins. I see you looking at me out the corner of your eyeball. Upset you don't have any carrots. I'm sorry. Not with all of you around, my car would get kicked. Bye. Bye. Hello. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Just out here hanging out. Yeah, I don't have nothing for you. Want a turkey sandwich? 
Don't eat the mirror. <laughs> or my phone. Using your mirror to scratch his face. Hi. What were you doing? Had a, had an itch. Oh, you had an itch. Oh, you gonna go bye bye?